Later on, we're going to do body weight movements. We're going to do um, some more quad work. We're going to do leg extensions and we're going to do um, hip extensions. Leg extensions, you're going to use a chair. If you can't use the chair, you're going to do them on the floor. Not a big deal. Um, anything that we're doing, like the leg extensions or other weird stuff like that, I'll show you how to modify it. So don't worry. You can modify that pretty easily. If you don't have a kettlebell, substitute dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbells, use the kettlebell. All we're doing for the dumbbell is swing and deadlift work. The dumbbells, we're going to do thrusters. But again, if you only have a kettlebell, do a thruster with the kettlebell. If you only have um, you know, dumbbells, swing the dumbbells. Easy enough. And leg extensions. While we're waiting for everybody, we've got a few more. What's up, Gina? Leg extensions are going to be on the chair. You guys can see. You got this. Can you see the chair there? Yeah. You're going to elevate your feet on a chair. And again, if this is too hard, use the floor. So you kneel in front of the chair. Then we're going to put our hands down. And you're going to put your feet on. You can do your couch too. A couch, a bench, a chair, doesn't matter. I put my uh, feet on the chair. Toes down. Knees down. And then from here, I'm going to extend my hips in the air and squeeze my quad. And these are your body weight leg extensions. So you'll be doing the leg extension. You'll be getting some ab work with that too. If you don't want to use a chair, if it's too hard, start on the floor. From the side, look, I hold my bare plank, and then I just lift my hips up and down. And that is how you do your body weight leg extension. Okay, we'll be getting to that later on. All right, anybody else coming on? All right, so I think we just got Marianne doing it live and Denise. Okay, you guys ready? Moving that zoom on. Okay, we're gonna start off nice and easy, warming up. You got your kettlebell and dumbbells nearby. Hands up right now, let's shadow box to warm up. Go, shadow box, warm up, shadow box. Nice and light. Nice and easy, if we're lucky, maybe Alicia and Danny. Danny's napping right now. She should be waking up in a few minutes. We'll get a visit from Daniela. And the leech might work out a little bit with us instead of later. Pop, pop. Warm it up, warm it up. Get a five minute warm up. Then we grab our kettlebell and dumbbells. Denise, are you doing this at the office? Yeah. Throw some elbows and knees in there. Elbows and knees. Should have Jeanette hop on with you. Ah, oh, all right. Hey, Lisa's doing it too. What's up, Lisa? Get some kicks in there now. Left and right. I'm already nice and warmed up from 9:30, but we still gotta warm you guys up. 15, 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me squats. Go, deep squats. Shoulder width apart with your feet. Nice, narrow stance right now. Deep stance, pause, stand up. Warm it up. So don't worry about moving fast. Just get low. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a right leg swing. Give me five on each. Five right, five left. Straight leg. Five right, five left. Stretch. Five on each. When you hit five on each, shadow box again. When you hit five on each, shadow box. Move your head, move your feet. Get your kicks in there.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bring your feet out a little wider, squat again, one more time, feet out a little wider, squat, push your knees out of the bottom, stand up tall, push those knees out of the bottom, Five, four, three, two, one. Five leg swings. Five right, five left. Leg swing, five and five. When you hit five and five, drop down to a dive bomber. Dive bomber stretch. Pike up, push up and back. Drop down, look up, arch. Stretch at the bottom. We're almost there. Almost done warming up. Arms locked out, one foot up, drop your hip. Arms locked out, one foot up, drop your hip, stretch. Alternate on your own. Five, four, three, Two, come up, finish up with a dynamic squat. Dynamic squat to finish. Go. Feet wide, feet together. Wide and together. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Catch your breath. Quick sip of water if you need. You need dumbbells and a kettlebell or just one. Dumbbells and your kettlebell. I mean, you can just substitute dumbbells, right? Just the kettlebell. You pick. kettlebell we're gonna swing when I tell you to break you can put it down we're gonna grab our dumbbells or our kettlebell and go to a thruster remember on your thruster squat deep stand up and press all the way up press tall my elbows are a little bent because I got the uh, ceiling right here that's okay if you're in a low ceiling like me just press as high as you can if you have a regular ceiling you're upstairs you have the whole room all the way up extend if the weight gets too heavy remember a thruster is not a you don't stand up pause and press it's down and one motion. Denise, is that a toilet paper rack for your swing? What is that? Oh, candle. All right, be careful. You can always substitute. Okay, we're going to swing. Get ready. Three, two, kettlebell swing. Go. Three, two, one, put it down. Shadow box, go. Nice and light. Shadow box. So you have 45 seconds to move as fast as you can. Use as heavy as a weight as you can. If you don't have a heavy weight, go faster. If you're not out of breath in 45, push faster on your swing. 
Move your hands, move your hands. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Get your dumbbells. Dumbbells, dumbbells. Or whatever you got for your thruster. Get ready. Three. Two. Go. Thruster. Deep squat. Press. The thruster is only 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, plank, plank, plank. Hold your plank, hold it, hold it. Down, one push up. Two more. Down, one push up. One more. Down, one push up. Hold it, hold it. Hold your plank, hold your plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up. Get ready for your swing. Up, up, up. Get ready for your swing. Get ready. Four, three, two, go. 45 seconds. We're doing three rounds of this. One down on the second one. 45 seconds for your swing. Put it down. Shadow box. Shadow box. Fifteen. Five. Four. Three. Grab your dumbbells, grab your dumbbells. Whew, get ready. Thruster, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. One more to go. One push up when I tell you. Down. One push up. Hold it. Down. Push up. Hold it. Down. One push up. Hold it. Hold it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Get that kettlebell, one more to go. One more, one more. Whew. Get ready. We're swinging in four, three, two, 45 seconds, go. Last one, last one. Go heavy or go fast. You got a light weight, go faster. If you have heavy weight, use it. Twenty-five. Fifteen. Two, 
Put it down. Shadow box, you're done with the swings. You are done with your swings. Shadow box. You're done with your swing. We're going thruster next. 15. Five, four, three, two. Let's grab those dumbbells. Get ready. 30 seconds in two, one, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. Plank, plank, plank one more time. Push us when I call them out. Hold it, hold it. Down, push up, hold it. Down. Back up, hold it, hold it. One more. Down. Hold it, hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Everybody up. Not done yet. No weights. All right. Invisible ladder. So what you're going to do, imagine you have a ladder in front of you, right? You're going to hold a side stance. So I'm kind of uh, facing the corner. I'm going to squat. I'm not going to jump. I'm going to hop. I'm going to hop to the other corner and forward. I'm going to hop, hop, hop. Now, the lower you are, the more you're going to feel in your quads. So I'm trying to get low. Then, when I tell you, we're going to shadow box. If you have a small area, you're going to just kind of hop one or two steps forward and then go backwards. Go backwards, forward and back till I say, get ready. Three, two, imaginary ladder, hop and go. Squat, hop, get low if you can, just squat, get low. I'm in the front, right, I'm not doing a big jump, just a little hop and turning, side to side. Just keep going forward and back. Five. Four, three, two, stand up. Hands only, shadow boxing. I'm gonna call numbers out. Get ready? One, one, two, pop, pop, two. This is your break for your legs. Three, three, one, one, two, two. Right hand, right hand, right hand. Two, four, four, elbow. One, one elbow, two, two. All right, let's get ready. Next squat. In three, two, go. Squat and hop, squat and hop. Squat and hop, just a little hop. Ten. Five, four, three, two, hands up. Jab, jab, cross, keep going. Jab, jab, cross, keep going. Jab, cross, cross, jab, cross. Cross. Don't forget to twist. I know you're shadow boxing. And this is kind of our break. But don't forget to turn. Jab. Turn. Turn. So your legs get a little break, but you're still keeping your heart rate from falling too much by moving those arms, moving those legs. Ten. Keep going. Jab. Cross. Cross. Five. Four. Three. 
two, let's get ready, last one. Hop, hop, hop. Three, two, go. Squat and hop. Three, two, hands up. Jab, cross, move. Jab, cross, 30 seconds. Jab, cross, move. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna get our dumbbells or our kettlebell. We're gonna do a slow, stiff leg deadlift. Then we're gonna do a leg extension, okay? Hey, what's up, Michelle? So get your chair, get your um, floor if you need it. So Denise, you might do it on the floor. Let me show you guys again the leg extension on the chair. So look, you guys see I have the chair right here? There you go, yeah, that's good, Denise. You're gonna kneel in front of the chair facing away from it. You're gonna put your hands on the floor, like so. Then all you're gonna do is take your toes, put them on the chair. Then from here, drop your knees as low as you can and pike. All right, so you're gonna press with your quads. To modify that movement, just keep your feet on the floor. Look, you're gonna do the same thing on the floor. Press, press, press. All right, same thing on the floor. All right, we're gonna do it. Get your weight, we're gonna get ready for the deadlift. Stiff leg deadlift, slow. Get ready, dumbbells or kettlebell. The lighter weight you're using, the slower you go. The lighter your weights, like that Denise, Go nice and slow. Keep tension on your hamstrings the whole time. Get ready and go. Get as low as you can. Come up fast. Slow on the way down. Slow negatives. Push your hips and butt back. Push back, push back. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody, ten leg extensions. Ten leg extensions. Go. When you hit ten, you're gonna come back up and shadow box. Ten leg extensions. When you hit 10, shadow box. When you hit 10, shadow box. Did you feel that in your quads? 10 and shadow box. You got 15 seconds. Then we're going back to our deadlifts. Keep that weight close by. Everything stays nice and close. You don't need a lot of room to shadow box, right? Just stay in one spot. Five, four, three, two. Get ready, deadlift. Go. All the way up, slow negatives. Ten.
Great. You know the deal. Ten leg extensions, then shadow box. Ten and shadow box. Ten and shadow box. One more to go. One more. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Get that weight. Get ready. Deadlifts. Go. Last set. Nice. There you go, Denise. Five, four, three, two, put it down. There's your last time. Ten leg extensions. Then we uh, shadow box. Almost done. Almost grabbing dumbbells for upper body work. Ten leg extensions. Shadow box when you're done. Shadow box. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna finish it up with a bridge, glue bridge. I like using the glue bridge for my finisher. We're not done yet, but glue bridges. So if you want, you can use your chair. You can go, you know, back on the floor, heels on the uh, chair, and up. Look a little higher that way. To make it even harder, you're gonna elevate your back and your feet. So you're gonna pick how to do that. Right now I'm using the medicine ball on my upper back, and then I'll use a chair for my feet, for my legs. All right, get ready. Three, you pick. Two, we can just do a flat on the floor, too. And go. We can just do a flat on the floor if you need. Ooh, the chair is wobbly. Try to get a little hold at the top. 30 seconds. We're only doing one minute. Hold to the top every time. Again, if you don't have a dumbbell, use your kettlebell or whatever you got. We're going to do curls, presses, raises, flies, all that good stuff. Some upper body work now.
Oof. All right, everybody ready? We're gonna start with a curl and raise. We're gonna curl the dumbbells, but we're not gonna, we're gonna curl them inward. So we're not gonna go out this way. So when you do your curl, you can curl in, you can hammer curl, you can do a regular curl, or you can curl out. Curling out is this way. We're gonna curl in, and then we're gonna raise. So we're gonna curl in, so almost like our back of our palms, our knuckles come together, then down, then lat raise. So Denise, what you're gonna do, since you have one, is you're gonna just do a regular curl, front raise. You're gonna go curl, and if you guys only have a kettlebell, same thing, do a curl with both, and then a front raise. All right, get ready, go. Curl, lateral raise. Curl, raise. Break as you need. Twenty. There's one minute on this first one. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. Ah. Hands up, straight punch out, go, straight punch out. Just keep that little pump in your shoulders right now. Twist your body, you don't have to go fast. Just give your arms a break from those dumbbells. Straight punch out, straight, straight. Turn your hips, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pick them back up. Curl and press now. Curl and press. Get ready at your own pace. Three, two, one. Go. So you have one. Yep. Just curl and press that one, Denise. That's it. If you have two, you're doing like I am. Curl, press. You can do a hammer curl. You keep the dump, your palms facing each other the whole time. That's your hammer style. Right. Or you can do regular. Turn your palms in on the curl. Turn them out on the press. You guys pick. You can alternate the whole time. Eight, five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. Hands up. Straight punch out. Go. Straight, 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 straight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. And four, we go hooks. Three, two, one. Hooks go hook, 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 hook. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake them out. All right. Forward raise, lateral raise. You can go forward, then right, left. For Denise, since you have one, I want you to go back to your curl and front raise. Right, since you have one, just do a curl. If you have one weight, curl and front raise. If you have two weights, like me, lateral raise, forward raise. Or Denise, you can just do your body weight, just do your arms. Just go a little faster. All right, get ready. Three, two, go.
We're almost done. We are almost done. Finished. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. All right, no shadow boxing. So now we're gonna be finishing it with some light, uh, no. leg work and sit up work. Sit ups and uh, ab work and leg work. We're gonna be doing our lunge. We're gonna do a high knee lunge, one at a time. So I'm gonna bring my right knee to the floor. We've all done this before. And right knee high at the top. And I'm gonna keep going. Get ready. Right leg, three, two, one, go. So we're doing right knee up, keep going. So your left is doing the lunge. Your right leg is going back and up. Some unilateral leg work to finish with ab work in it. Get that high knee and engage your abs at the top. 20. So you should be engaging your core by bringing that knee nice and high. 10. Five, four, three, two, down. Sit ups, go, sit up, sit up. Let me put this on the floor on Facebook. Sit up, sit up. Slow negatives, slow negatives. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're setting back with the other leg. Get ready. So your left leg is going down. Get ready, left leg down, high knee. Two, one, go, one minute. Knee down, knee up, knee down, knee up. In the front of your thigh, in the top, close to your knee, in your quad, in the teardrop. 20. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, down, sit up. One more to go, one more, we're almost done. I promise, I'm not gonna just keep saying it. Thank you. 
All right, every up. One more. We're going to alternate for one minute. Alternate high knee lunge. Last time, then sit up, then done. Get ready. Get ready. Two, one, go. Knee down, knee high, switch. Knee down, knee high, switch. Left, right. Get that knee up, get that knee up. Like you're trying to knee yourself, knee yourself in the chest. In 10, you're gonna finish with a sit up and then we're done. Five, four, three, two, down for a sit up and then we are done. We got 30 seconds. Let's go. 30, 30. 30 seconds. Time. Whew. Stretch. Drop your hips down. Look up. Sit back. Stretch. Whew. If you guys did this workout live with me, make sure to comment on the video, at least with a live. Or if you did it later, hit replay. Let me know that you did it. I like to see who did it and when. You know, let's Andre and I know still who's taking classes, who needs maybe a kick in the butt. And what times you're doing it, in case we ever change these times. Don't forget, we have cross training with Theo at 6 p.m. But also, tonight, I'm going to raffle off the next batch of cards that we're getting. So, uh, you know, and stuff for the gym. So last week, we did all restaurants. And if you got a restaurant card, guys, you'll be getting those in the mail soon. Um, you might give them in your inbox, too. I think one or two of them is digital delivery. So I'm going to have to just email it so we don't have to, you know, handle shit with each other. Uh, this week... It's going to be gift cards to other businesses, like non-restaurant businesses, but also bigger prizes for the gym. Uh, Monday through Friday, I'll be raffling off, so I'm going to raffle one tonight. But also is the uh, fitness scavenger hunt. All right? The way this fitness scavenger hunt works is every day this week, starting today, I'm going to do my first one in a little bit. I'm going to post a video. It'll be a live video like this. It's going to be like five, ten minutes. I'm going to show you a movement, an exercise, a difficult body weight movement, and then you're going to do it. You have to videotape yourself um, or take a picture of yourself doing it. If you don't want a video, I prefer a video of you doing 10 repetitions of the movement. So like, let's say it's the leg extension. Um, that'll be today, actually. You'll have to video yourself doing 10 repetitions modified however you need, and I'll show you the modifications in each video. I would like each day for you to do five sets of 10 of that movement. This is gonna build you up to the weekend where you're gonna run through all the movements in one big super circuit. So today, around um, you know maybe three o'clock, I will put up the first part of the scavenger hunt. You'll have till you know, the rest of the day or tomorrow morning to post yours up. And every day around that same time, I'll post up a new video with a new technique with tons of modifications so anybody can do it at any fitness level. Um, and that's really about it. All right, I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Uh, as soon as we're allowed to do outdoor workouts again, which should be way before the 15th, before everyone opens up, um, you know, we should be able to do those earlier than most because we have that big back area that, um, you know, we're really thankful to have. Uh, and we'll keep groups of 10 once we're allowed to do that, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. If not, I will talk to you later. Thank you, guys. Thanks, thanks. <clears throat> have a good one. Later, Denise. Thank you. You're welcome, Marianne. Yeah, I, you know, I like this one a lot too, actually. I think this is uh, my favorite class to teach just because it's easy. Not easy. I mean, you know, 12 o'clock, I'm nice and awake. Um, I like the format of mixing up the shadow boxing with tons of weight training. I think it's my favorite one. So keep sticking with it. Later, guys.